you. And? Johnny. With yet another DJ's Brew Tube beer review. What really? Yeah. What, what else would it be? Um, oh, yeah, soda review. Nah, fuck that soda review. That doesn't have any alcohol in it. Okay, uh, beef jerky review. Jerky review is good, yes. <laughs> it doesn't or, have alcohol in it. Or maybe fried peanuts. There you go. Mm-hmm. But all those things that maybe aren't good for you, that's what we review. That's right. And if I you know, don't like... Beer is good for us. That's right. It's liquid bread. It's good sustenance. Yeah. And what do we have for our sustenance tonight, Johnny? We have Hato Ale... Yes. 2011 version from the Victory Brewing Company out of Downington, Pennsylvania, Jew S of A. Yay, yay. And what beer do we have from them? I just said an auto, auto ale. But what year is it? <laughs> I told him the year. Oh, Dude! <laughs> <laughs> We've been drinking already. What do you want? Now, this is a Hulk beer. Okay, I am the. You're the Come stun on, drinker. I'm the Hulk beer. Hulk beer. It's a Roush beer. Hulk beer. <laughs> it is a Belgian double base, double Dude, base special. Dude, your dog is like already Humping begging you? for the beer. <laughs> yeah, she was on me. <laughs> <clears throat> so just open. I'll give them the rest of the okay. story. 8.1 ABV. Damn. This one's like a low one for us today. We're looking around 30 IBUs, 20 to 30 oh, in the range. What's here is trying to open the cork. No, I don't want to come out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a smoke bubble, <laughs> bubble. It's a smoke Belgian double. They use German hops. There we go. Yay! Woohoo! I did it! I did it! I did it! Yay! <laughs> smoke malt from Germany, Trappist yeast, and it is bottle conditioned. Hell yes. Well, you can tell by the head already. Yeah. That's what she said. Wait, <laughs> listen. Fizzy. Snap, crackle, pop in the morning. Hell yes. We're in the afternoon. Mmm, smells like uh, <laughs> smells like a Belgian beer. I don't get the smoke though. Really? <laughs> All right, let's see. Well, it's pretty clear, a little bit ruddy, kind of a really dark copper brown color with a lot of ruby hints coming through. Take a look at that. We got a solid one finger head, super tight bubbles, not really soap sudsy. When I swirl it, plenty of glass lacing and tons of alcohol legs. Let's get an aroma on this. I'm getting a little bit of like campfire like smoke, maybe a little bit like uh, beech wood. Dark fruits. Where? A little really? bit, yeah. Really faint in the back in the edge. I want my toasted marsh burnt toasted marshmallow stick from Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this isn't the obsidian porter. Really? I get. I, I think get, I need to put it over a fire just to get the smoke. Out. I get. I get smoke out of this. I get like bacony like smoke. I get yeasty I spice. Do, I do smell like bacon. sweetness. Like caramel, like malty sweetness, a bit of like Belgian spice yeah. and clove. I guess I have to swirl it to get the smoke. Mhm. Mm and that's about it. Now, what Johnny did. Or lean up. Did you tell him about the Trappist yeast? No, 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 no. Bad. I'm <laughs> trying. There we go. Fuck. There's some smoke for you. <laughs> That's just flammable. It was almost this island, but deadly, but a little bit of bloop, 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 bloop. So they say they're using the German smoke malts. I expect they bought some from Act in Bomberg, which is from whom you would buy said malt. Let's get a taste. Cheers. Or pros, maybe. Or, I don't know, what do we say? Santé, maybe, because it's Belgian it and German. Be, shut the anyway. hole and drink. Oh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> I get a little bit of smokiness in in the taste. Um, wow. Almost like a dry wine. It, it kind of whisks, whisks the tongue of any liquid. It's really dry finish, like Johnny says. I get some more, more smoke than he does. And I'm getting, is it like, is it beechwood or bacony that you're getting? I smell. I, I did get the bacony, and I, I'm tasting the bacony. Let it mm -hmm. let it go a little bit, and you'll taste the bacon. As it sits, it's more like that bacon smoke. It's a medium thin mouthfeel. Yeah. Um, you don't taste the 8.1 percent at all. No. no it I goes don't. down really smooth. I get a little little bit of faint dark fruits, caramel, 
the, the overriding taste is the bacon you, and maybe a little spice. You know, on the first drink, on the first sip, though, you do get the fruits. Then mm -hmm. after that, it's like the smokiness now overtakes. Mm -hmm. Nothing like the burnt marshmallow stick. <clears throat> but, um, you know, it, it, it's mm -hmm. almost tastes like... And that like, wasn't even a smoke beer. <clears throat> no, it almost <laughs> tastes like bacon. It, I mean, literally, it almost now tastes like eating bacon. And for all my Jewish friends, it's Passover, so this is not a good beer to drink either. No, maybe and, and not. You're, and you're not allowed to drink beer on Passover, what I found out. As much as I tried to help you, Andrew, it didn't work. Shout out to Andrew in Canada. Mm -hmm. No, you cannot have beer. The dog is scratching at my arm for beer. You beggar off, bitch. Anyways, um, it has a, as you drink this more, it has that more of that bacony sort of campfire flavor. We're drinking this at cellar temperature. I'd say probably what about like fifty something degrees. Whatever the temperature is. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like Stop fifty-eight it. down here. Look, dude. Look, I'm getting scratched from my dog. <laughs> the, these dogs are fucking drunks. I mean, not us, of course. Only yeah. the dogs. Yeah. Um. Th it's a real different sort of rock beer. When I've had, I've had everything pretty much X makes, and that's very smoke forward. I'm, I'm worried he might fart on me. Uh, <laughs> But this is kind of like a, a combination for me of that like Belgian spiciness, caramel and smoke. That's it's that's pretty much it. That what it has. What do you think? I think I could have some eggs with this. Dude, this would be good with scrapple. <laughs> no, be, because it's bacon. I mean, it, it's interesting. I, I like the the flavor. I don't really get much of the Belgian double, but you know, it's it's. The only thing I get is a little bit of spice to the smokiness. But, you know, for me, that's I, that could be attributed to the cracked pepper and olive oil with Triscuits. I mean. That's true. <laughs> so, so you know, it's one of these... I, 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 I actually like the beer. It's a good beer. But, you know, it it's doesn't, to me, hold true to a Belgian double base at all. <laughs> It's it's not a Belgian double. It's more of a it's a I think Ralph it's beer. it's its own thing because it's a Ralph beer. It's like the the Ralph has taken over the uh, Belgian, just like my dog's trying to take over or my dog. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, um, I, I enjoy it. I think it's a tasty beer. It's a little thin for me on the mouth feel. Yeah, it's medium but, thin. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But you know, it, it's just I don't know. I, I would eat it. I would. Eat pizza with this. You could pair this with you could pair this with cheese, like burgers, burgers, pizza. pizza, a lot of different meals. And they talk about on the bottle here some shit about them going to Belgium and start discovering right. this, they and then did. going to Germany and yeah, blah, whatever. Blah, blah, whatever. So our but, buddies over at Rate Beer, since it's only an 8.1, they really downed this beer. They gave it a 77. Hey, Rate Beer, <laughs> that's a first. Uh, mm -hmm. The dudes over at Beer Advocate, though. They gave it an 82, and I, myself... Wait a minute, smell it again, though. As it's warmed up and opened up... I don't remember up. smelling it the first time. Well, we probably did. I did, but... But I, it's got more, like, fruits to it now, like, more, like, Belgian... Yeah, but that's fine. It might smell fruity, but it doesn't taste fruity yet. Taste it now. You see, as it warms up, it, like, opens up, and it's a little more Belgian-y. Okay. Now give it your grade. It tastes like sourdough bread. <laughs> well, that's Belgian beer tastes like that sometimes. That's what I say. Mm -hmm. Hey, I got an email. Um, <laughs> I was going to give it an 85 anyways. Uh -huh. I like the beer um, just because it, it's it's unique. It, I like bacon. And, um, Bacon's good. I think this would go great with eggs. This would go great with <laughs> with pizza or burgers, something like that. If you're more willing, even a even yeah, cheese, good. Maybe like some sausage. Yeah, like yeah, like some like you know bratwurst or something I, like that. I think you know bacon. You know, could go with pork or anything like that. You know, it's it's a good. I think it's good without any of the other breakfast meat, scrapple sausage or anything like that. <laughs> If, if you're not from the East Coast, like Virginia, Maryland, you don't know what Scrapple is, you know, your life is lacking. Yeah. 
Scratch they, they would know in Pennsylvania. That's right. They call it Pond Hoss yeah. in Pennsylvania, I believe. I think. I, actually, it was Scrapple when I went up to the Lancaster day. But it was done differently. Yeah, then the more good. mealy one is the Pond Hoss, yeah. isn't it? Something yeah. like that. That's what the Amish make. Anyways, it's a breakfast meat made of pieces and parts composed basically, basically of cornmeal, which we have over a pound of for tomorrow morning for breakfast. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, so... I'm going to give this beer, I think I'm going to give it a B plus, like an 87, Ooh, 86. you're higher than me. Yeah. I, I'm a big a smoke beer head. I like my smoke beer, too. Yeah, yeah, He that's what he tells you. He's no, just telling you that. I do. <sighs> Anyways, I'm going to go 88. What'd you go, but, 85? But, but the thing that's is, 85 B plus, The only reason why, yeah, 85 is not a B plus. It's is a it? freaking B, dude, man. I don't remember. <laughs> a B plus would be like 88, 89. I'm giving it 88. Okay. B plus. And the only reason why I say is style. Okay, it's a Rauch beer. Mm-hmm. Rauch, Rauch, whatever. Rauch beer. Whatever. There you go, Hitler. Um, but the Belgian double base is missing. I just don't get that. It really is much more like the Rauch beer. Mm-hmm. And so that's why, that's the only reason. I, but I do like the beer. For style wise, I just don't see it. But other than that, it's good beer. What I do see is my schnauzer company in your Japanese. <laughs> it's the German and the Cubans, eh? That's right, dude. They're down with some tropical love, <laughs> tropical heat, baby. So, you guys don't see this, but that's okay. And But one thing you have seen, maybe you've seen that like button, the scri- subscribe button. If you haven't subscribed, yeah, what's like up? Yeah, like Johnny. No. And, and send us more of this beer. Yeah, send us more of this beer. We got another bottle. In the dungeon. Waiting the for us. Altered. In the beer altar, uh, the sacrament of altar, beer. Altar of beer. That's right. So, till the next time, remember what you got to do. You got to think globally, and Same. you got to drink locally, and you got to support the craft beer movement. And if you don't, well, go drink your macro beer and leave more of this for us because that's probably pretty cool. Yeah. So, till the next time, me. he's giving it a high B. I'm giving it a B plus. If you've had this, let me know. Until then, he's that's retarded. A B. Well, probably, but I need more beer then. Peace out.